Yeah, there was like a video that came out of Okinawa where it was like, Bruh! and then you saw that there was nobody on the at the beach, and then they had a receding shoreline. Oh, like that was pretty bad, so and scary. everyone's like that's tsunami. Scary. Yeah, oh, dude, <laughs> but nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> So Taiwan just had a pretty bad earthquake, you guys probably oh, Dude! So that shit was crazy! Yeah, the videos that I've seen are insane, like the whole bottom floor is gone and it's like it's leaning. Smooth. It's smooth criminal. Yeah. The crazy thing is that even though that's a 7.4 earthquake, right? Yeah. Um, They had at least nine deaths. Yeah. Hundreds of injured. You know how impressive that is? Yeah. That's yeah. very I was good. telling Bart, I was like, dude, if this ah. was Pakistan, that ah. would have been like 30,000 dead, 100,000 ah. injured. They would have blamed so, Israel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Pakistan. I think they would have blamed India. Different group, different group. <laughs> Just, they would have blamed Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing we're gonna talk about right now is like, obviously like, the, you know, it was terrible, but what, like, the bright side of this is their earthquake preparedness was such an awesome flex in this particular situation. Cause think of this, 7.4 magnitude, right? Yeah. Um, their code for buildings and stuff is so strict that if, let's say a 7.4 hits and then your building falls that you uh, owed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then all the buildings around are fine because they were up to code. You go to jail. Oh, sh oh, oh They'll wow. arrest the entire company that even did it. Like, so, so that was an incentive to make With the leaning tower of in Taipei? Yeah. You know, they cut corners like a motherfucker, dude. If, if they can prove that they cut those corners, those people responsible for that building go to prison. Wow. Yeah, it's that's serious. Sick. Yeah. It's awesome. Sounds like it's working. And in, like, <laughs> look, because you know how much. Taiwanese people love to save money. You know, everybody's just like, oh, why can't I just cut a little bit of corner? <laughs> well, because they already know where they, they know where Taiwan is. It's on a, it's on a really crazy fault where um, it's called a uh, thrust uh, fault where it's this one where one's going over oh, the other. Shit. And Damn. because of that line they've had, it says since the eighties, they've had 2000 earthquakes or more. And they still and, trying uh, to build tall shit. Yeah, and there's there's just there already. It's kind of like uh, what's it called? The it's like every place that's in a basin, like New Orleans. Like it's like it's there. Go back to China. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. The first Chinese I went there, and it was like, oh shit, better go back, man. <laughs> so the sort of swimming back. <laughs> yeah. This is this is how well they've done with uh, with earthquake code. So in 1999, they had a 7.7. 7. Oh. 2,400 people died. 2,400 in Taiwan? 2,400. Mm -hmm. And then this one was only nine. nine. Wow. Oh. And it's, it's very, I mean, and of course, a point one magnitude makes a massive difference. Yeah. But then look at the numbers for yeah. that. 2,400, they're, really they're really like badass at that. But and only with incentive to, for people to do their jobs correctly. Right, yeah. Like, Great. Yeah, you want to go to jail? <laughs> when I went to the Taiwan, the, I think it's called Taipei Tower or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. It's that tall building. Yeah. And they'll show you, like, they have this, like, balance mechanism in the middle. Oh. It's like this swivel. Yeah, like a pendulum, right? Yeah, yeah and yeah. that's supposed to be for, like, earthquake. Um, to, oh, to let it go like this. Yeah, yeah. to balance it out. That's crazy. And I was like, dude, that shit is tight. Imagine okay. being in one of those buildings, huh? Like as an earthquake is going off, no. that must be a trip. Yo, wasn't there Chinese navies and everything around the coastline after that earthquake? Oh, because of the tsunami risk? Yeah, and everything? Yeah, there's, so anytime there's an earthquake on that fault line, it's massive tsunami risk because so much of it's in the water. Yeah. And it, it's, um, they always have to be careful, but I think it was okay this time. Yeah, there was like a video that came out of Okinawa where it was like, Bruh! And then you saw that there was nobody on the at the beach, and then they had a receding shoreline. Oh, like that was pretty bad. So and everyone's scary. like, that's tsunami! Scary. Yeah. Oh dude. But nothing happened. <laughs> Yo, that that is scary though. Can you imagine? <laughs> the, to see the to see the water just like leave the beach and you're there? Hell nah, dude. dude it, it looked crazy, like post-apocalyptic, because you just saw a empty ass like resort beach oh. and then you saw just like these mm -hmm. two jet skis like just chilling and like a sailboat and then you can see like the line of water and it was receding like that mm -hmm. but then how did it sound how were people yelling <laughs> it was like no you had the siren it went Boo! you know the tsunami sound yeah. and then the japanese lady's like tsunami 
falling to her knees. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> they might as well just record her and then get two birds with one stone. Yeah, <laughs> that's the alarm. Yeah, so people don't have to keep yelling. Yeah. <laughs> what horn is that one? Dude, they fucking they do the same horn in in, in Hawaii. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they'll just yes. out of nowhere. Yeah, it sounds like. No, yeah, I went to three of them. It's like. Yeah. It sounds like a purge. Oh, like an air raid siren? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. It's fucking loud, too. Scary, Everybody yeah. drives up to Diamond Head, like around the area. Yeah. Diamond Head or up to. To get elevation? Mm hmm. Damn, or just man. climb to the fucking highest point of the tower, baby. So I guess, like, there, there's, there's a really cool thing that points out that Taiwan's actually really similar to LA in the sense of like um it sits there's like in in the earth it's like a almost like a basin oh. and the sediment underneath it it's like more um it's it moves more yeah oh, sure so oh, even nice. if an earthquake is at a certain magnitude it's affecting la way the fuck more than it would another region oh, that's good because like it's like if you had a bowl of cereal and you put oh, something on top shit. of the cereal and you did this to the bowl, it's like shit's gonna shift, right? Yeah. But then some places if you had a bowl of fucking cement, like it's not gonna be as bad. Oh, interesting. That's yeah. a really good analogy. I texted my mom right away to see if my family was good and they're all pretty cool. Oh, they did say they were shaking though. Your family is there. They were in the south, so they I think theirs was a four. Mm. But where it struck was like 7.4 or whatever. So they still shook and they still felt it, but it wasn't nearly as bad. So, yeah. so you're telling me that if an uh, earthquake of that magnitude hits LA or California, we'd be fine? We're chilling? No, because <laughs> even, though, even though we have a similar building code, we don't have those prison laws. Yeah. We're the bowl of cereal, yeah, though, no right? No one's <laughs> checking. We also have we also have grandfather clauses for a lot of building codes. True. Whereas well, I don't think I don't think Taiwan, does especially that. if it's historical, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Taiwan does that, and and a lot of the stuff That's that true. is historical is within proximity to knock down a building that is up to code. <laughs> yo, what if that was the Chinese? You know, going like, yo, we made an earthquake machine. They're like. Send it now. Yeah. Oh. Chinese Navy ships. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker! You know what I mean? Like, That'd be crazy. You think that's a likelihood? Hey, you never know, man. China yeah. be making anything. They're making clouds now. They're making rain. Yeah. Don't be surprised they make earthquakes. Yeah, you, t you tell me they can't make an earthquake? They can make a tsunami, probably. I feel like they probably could. You probably could. Probably I mean, with a, a with a bomb, you could probably make a decent yeah. tsunami, yeah. it seems like. <laughs> Dude. A decent tsunami. <laughs> Not that they're I'm rated like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Taiwan can't catch a break, man. RateMyTsunami.com <laughs> Oh, that tsunami was super chill that time. It wasn't that bad. What do you think of this one? Panel judges. This one? <laughs> There's like a fucking yeah, cycling. Yeah. Isn't China, uh, China want to take over Taiwan? No, no, they don't. They don't. China's like, I don't got to take over what I already got. I would try to take over itself, too, man. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. Because I don't know. Okay, I was just wondering. I don't think they want to destroy it though. What's your opinion on that? I don't think they want to destroy Taiwan. My my opinion? Yeah, what do you think of Taiwan versus China? They're gonna get smoked. <laughs> Ooh. Ta Taiwan's gonna get smoked. If it's all out war, it wouldn't even last like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they got help from America and Korea. But do you think do you think Taiwan should become part of China again? Fully? For their own yeah, safety. I don't know, for man. their own uh, safety. For their own safety, yeah. if they had to, if they had like seven ships, navy ships, going like, yo, we got hundred millimeter cannons at your face. Yeah. I said, yo, give up, go what's, there now. In your opinion, what's easier to solve? China versus Taiwan or Palestine versus Oh my god. Israel? Oh. What's easier? What's easier to solve? You don't have to say what you feel, but just like which what's, one? What would be easier yeah. to solve? For you. <laughs> If you had to I think Taiwan and China. Taiwan <laughs> yeah. yeah. is way. Yeah, yes. That yeah. one is. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are just tripping. Yeah, yeah. You guys are just being silly. Israel and Palestine. Like, that's like 50 years old beef. Yeah. Right. Israel Palestine is like long yeah, centuries. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just yeah, yeah, yeah. centuries. It's hard to. There's a lot to unpack. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's two different books. That's why it's going to be hard to settle down. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's no way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, China, China, Taiwan. Is just China, like, Taiwan's uh, like sibling, siblings yeah. having a little bit of an argument. Right. They just need to drop yeah. E on both sides and they're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh damn, yeah. Yeah. Or give them weed. Or just, damn. Yeah. Or just they should just share the proceeds of the earthquake machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's gonna make a lot of money. Yeah, that thing's getting rented out a lot. <laughs> I feel like for China, they'll be like, it's it's too much work to do all that. 
but I think they got politicians that are pro-China in Taiwan. Oh, that is true. They so, do have that too. Yeah. So they're like, we'll just do it. We'll just do it politically. What do you think? What do you honestly think of uh, China's work in making Africa a better nation? Yeah, they, they, dude. Honestly, they actually got smoked when they when they sent out their army out there to help out the UN, the China UN thingy. Not UN, but I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> no, no, it's Wait, all, okay. Okay, so they actually who got sent, smoked. The Chinese did. They actually sent out a bunch of their military dudes out there to Africa, Africa? to Africa to help uh, just sustain all oh, the peace, peace or whatever they have, and they actually got smoked by the by, warlords by the, by the Africans, dude. Damn, Damn. I got I don't know anything about that. I'd be watching too much, man. That's believable though. Yeah. All I know is the weirdest thing is Chinese people living in Africa, making African friends and making TikToks together, and then you have African Chinese pop stars. That's cool. <laughs> Damn. That's the craziest that shit. That is pretty crazy. You guys see that one ad where the guy goes, we love you. Like the, you got like five, yeah. seven of them. You can pay them to do ads and they're like, right. there's like, Joel, we love you, Joel. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. And they take your photo, they kiss it. Yeah. <laughs> and then they do like an African dance. Those guys yeah, are And you read the comments, like, this is slavery. I'm like, damn, bro, everyone's complaining still. Like, know, what it's the like, fuck? It's, it's, it's saying, this is slavery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everything is slavery. Oh, no. Bro. That, is, that is what people yeah. say. What a way to like, use them for advantage. I'm like, bro. Because you're, it's like you're dangling like money that's kind of like nothing to you, but yeah. then to them. Being a husband is a slave. Man. Yep. Facts. Slavery, bro. Yeah. Damn, you said it. You said it. I didn't say it, but true. But if you're, but if there's like, you know, if there's people in a village somewhere that are offering a service for money, like, yeah, it'd be cool to pay them something rather than yeah. buy a Hallmark card, you know? Right. Like, it Come seems on. like, oh, yeah. at least intuitively, it seems kind of nicer, but. No, it's smart. All they have to say is, we love you, Joel. <laughs> But it's the idea is that it's demeaning. But who knows? Maybe it's maybe it's chill. 